Now we will compare the hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis options. For hemodialysis, most people go to a dialysis center on a set schedule three times per week and are on a dialysis machine for about four hours each session. In some cases, hemodialysis can be done at home. For this, you would need to be trained and you would need to make room in your home for the dialysis machine. A benefit of hemodialysis is that it is usually done by trained professionals at a dialysis center. This provides time for contact with providers, which may give you the opportunity for emotional support. You also do hemodialysis for a shorter amount of time and fewer days each week than peritoneal dialysis. A con of hemodialysis is that it tends to make people more tired on the day of their treatment. Hemodialysis can also cause low blood pressure. Lastly, people on hemodialysis are at risk of infections in their blood. Peritoneal dialysis occurs at home on your schedule. Eventually, some people are able to do their peritoneal dialysis at night while they sleep. Peritoneal dialysis can be done in any clean place and you can do it when you travel. It also doesn't usually require as many food or fluid restrictions as hemodialysis. Lastly, it does not use needles. Because you are using the belly to do peritoneal dialysis, the infection that can happen is called peritonitis, or an infection inside the belly. Though there are some benefits to peritoneal dialysis over hemodialysis, not everyone is able to do the procedure. You will need to learn more about the procedure from your provider to see if it is right for you. I hope that this video has helped you better understand your options for dialysis. On behalf of your kidney providers, I wish you all the best with your ongoing kidney care.